आई वी एम हेलो एंड वेलकम टू स्माइल इंडिया माई नेम इज शिफा माइत्रा एंड टूडे आई हैव डिलाइटफुल न्यूज लिटल नगेट्स दट यू विल फील लाइक शेयरिंग सो प्लीज गो अहेड एंड स्प्रेड द स्माइल्स थैंकफुली द कोविड नंबर्स आर गोइंग डाउन बट द वायरस इज स्टिल अराउंड डॉक्टर्स एंड हेल्थ केयर वर्कर्स इन मेनी पार्ट्स ऑफ द कंट्री आर स्टिल स्वेटिंग इन पी पी किट्स अ यंग इंजीनियरिंग स्टूडेंट इन मुंबई हैज कम अप विद सोल्यूशन फॉर दिस प्रॉब्लम Nihal Singh saw his mother a doctor bathed in sweat and suffering on a daily basis so he then created a PPE ventilation system called Covtech this involves making a small hole in the PPE kit at the waist and attaching a belt which has a fan and a 12 watt battery after this belt is worn the hole in the PPE kit is sealed with a N95 mask Once switched on by the wearer every 100 seconds the fan provides fresh air and much needed relief now with his colleagues at the business incubation cell at what technologies nihal a student at the somaya vidya vihar college has tested this kit and what's wonderful is that they've now started making it commercially at an affordable rate so more healthcare workers can benefit from it i think that's wonderful Did you know that the world's largest tree is in Andhra Pradesh's Anandpur district? Well, now you do. This 550-year-old banyan tree is in the Guinness Book of World Records for its unique status. If you look at it from a distance, it looks like a complete forest. But when you go closer, you notice that it's just one tree with a canopy of over 2.1 hectares. This tree has withstood natural elements for many years. but off late vandalism and children playing on its branches was beginning to take a toll thankfully locals and the forest department sprung into action fast enough they've now got a fence around the trunk and four forest range officers keep vigil round the clock a system has been devised to provide water to the roots the entire district was elated when new leaves were spotted Historians believe this was planted in the 15th century. Locals have another myth. They believe that Thimamma Marimanu, a pious lady who lived in the area, has something to do with the tree. Hence they come in huge numbers to take blessings. Environmentalists have declared that with some care this beauty can continue to live for many years to come. I for one am planning a visit soon. Next up I share news about Monisha Narke of Mumbai who collects empty tetra packs of juice and milk she recycles them and then actually makes furniture out of these chairs and desks for schools from the empty cartons that we so casually use and throw these cartons are made of 75% paper but also have polymers and aluminum in them which are recyclable but only a small percentage gets recycled while over 25 lakh tetra packs are consumed a day in india monisha was concerned with air pollution as it affected her own young children while researching she found out that recyclable tetra packs are being trashed and adding to the mounds in the landfills where garbage is burnt a major cause of air pollution she knew she had to do something at her level to ensure cleaner air for all so from the wet waste generated at home she began making compost which she used in her plants soon she was teaching people in the neighborhood how to do the same and the entire society had zero wet waste dry waste she got scrap dealers to take regularly but cartons loomed large so she got down to doing research and got to know that these packs can be shredded and heated to make durable sheets so she found a vendor for this then she needed more cartons so she approached big supermarkets to join hands with her and at designated spots people could dump their empty cartons these got collected and she got boards made in a factory the sheets made over there were so strong that they could replace wood next up she made chairs and benches and desks that she donates to schools so they can cut costs and more children can get educated Saving the environment is of course a primary aim. 
Over 400 desks and 200 park benches have been made so far by this eco-warrior. If you want to collect and donate your used Tetra Packs, please get in touch with me on social media and I will share her details. And now on to news from Mangalore that's honestly awesome. Jun Lobo and Avian Pace are parents to 8-year-old twins, Ethan and Elena, who have never seen the inside of a school because their parents believe in unschooling. June took a break from her job in the fashion industry when the kids were born, and she was against learning by rote in stuffy classrooms. Her husband agreed, but didn't think homeschooling for ours was a good idea either. They spoke to other parents who believed in unschooling and took a decision. They would travel with the children, and that's how they would learn. So Ethan and Elena learned numbers and alphabets through number plates of cars around them while traveling. Of course, their parents got them books, showed them YouTube videos on subjects of their choice, but there was no rush or pressure. The kids picked up the basics of reading and writing pretty fast. Over time, Ethan showed interest in electronics and gadgets, while Elena loves arts and gymnastics. Three years ago, Avon gave up his regular job and the family moved for one year to a farm close to Bangalore where another couple had settled and were unschooling their children. These people had guests from all over the world, and soon the Pace kids were interested in Japan, interested in learning how to pick their own food and cook it on firewood. Elena got pretty decent at French, learning from a visitor. After a year, the family built their base on a farm they owned in Mangalore, and from there they took to travelling. The trip from Mangalore to Kutch was like one huge textbook. The children learned history, geography, languages and life skills through practical lessons. They met up with other families unschooling. They bathed in waterfalls, spent nights in a tent near a temple courtyard. Once they were invited by some villagers to pitch their tent in a farm and the kids had a marvellous time with people who were rank strangers a couple of hours ago. During the lockdown, they were back to Mangalore And that's when the parents realized that their children had changed. Months of travel had made them more confident and more accepting of things. They have left the decision to move back to a city or school to the children as they get older. For now, sunsets on the beach and mornings on the farm is what they are loving. That's it for today and I'll be back next week with more delightful news from India. Till then, stay home, stay safe and get vaccinated. For more interesting information on our country, please like and follow Good News Indians on Facebook. To hear more engaging podcasts, download the IBM app, go to the IBM website or look for us wherever you get podcasts from. To stay in touch with me, you could look up Shifa Maitra on Twitter and Instagram. Since you heard and liked Smile India in English, you could check out our Hindi version too and recommend it to people who prefer podcasts in Hindi. everybody, it's been a great week on the IVM Podcast Network. On the Edges and Sledges Cricket Podcast, Ashwin and DJ dive into all the major scoops from the first week of the IPL's 2021 second leg. They talk about the Indian women's team beating Australia in the third ODI, breaking their winning streak of 26. On Gaby CD, Farad and Sunetra are in conversation with mental health practitioner Unnati Bharadwaj. They discuss loopholes in the mental health industry, especially for queer individuals and how to come out safely to friends and family. On All Things Policy, Priyal Dalmeda and Rutharaj Gowekar discuss the rationale behind booster shots. On Hans Vani, listen to an intriguing story called Aakhe about how our eyes see everything and yet sometimes fail to grasp reality. And on The Life Manifesto, Zarina talks about the implications of burnout. Do follow us on social media. We're IBM Podcast on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. And remember, if you're enjoying this show or any other show for that matter, please do tell a friend. And finally, we'd like to thank our sponsors on the network this week, Cred, Bank of Baroda, Quarter, Coinswitch, Kuber, and Intel. We appreciate the support. Don't you think that if everyone around you is getting smart, you better be smarter? Hey there, I'm the traveling professor Siddharth Deshmukh and I'm back with season 2 of my podcast to make you smarter. Smarter with Sid. What's this season's focus about? Well, it's about 10 minute nuggets that will make you stand out at work. It's time to go from smart to smarter. Tune in every Tuesday and Thursday and become smarter with Sid.